Hello, everybody. I would like to welcome you to Personal Finance Spring of 2022. And um, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Lisa Swallow. I've been teaching this class for I think five or six years. I've done it um, in just a traditional environment. I've done it hybrid during COVID. And um, in this semester, it's obviously online. Um, I do want to tell you that in addition to just a purely online environment, I'm going to hold six um, classes during my uh, office hours on either Tuesday or Thursday afternoons from two to three o'clock for six of the chapters where the homework is the toughest. So um, I'll open a Zoom room and go through homework together. I'll post those dates. Um, so that you can see what they are and calendar yourself accordingly. It's not mandatory that you're there, but um, there's some technical topics in this class. I think you'll be happy to have that ability to have, you know, one-on-one -on -one Zoom room and um, ask questions about the homework. So I just want to go ahead and show you your shell, which is... Um, Personal Finance, BFIN 205S, it's got a social science designation, um, and spring of 22. So um, I'm going to just take you through the first two areas, which is start your online course here. And then secondly, I'm going to take you into the first chapter, which will be set up. All the chapters will look, um, have the exact same format. Um, the rest of these will all be closed at this point because I open them up as we go. Um, but we're going to cover chapters one through four and then um, six through 13. So um, that's our plan. The first two chapters will take a little bit um, extra time. So I think chapter two might even take up to like two and a half or three weeks. So um, start your online class here. I've given you a welcome to the course. Um, so please go ahead and read through that. And I'm hoping that the class is going to marry some um, introspection and reflection on your own relationship with money. And um, we're going to be doing some cash flow budgeting and looking at your net worth and doing some um, mid, some short, mid, and long term goal planning. Um, and then we're also going to get into some technical topics like looking at how you calculate interest rates and how you identify which loan is a better deal. Um, taking a look at different kinds of insurance and how to determine what's best for your needs. Uh, we're going to look at real estate. We're going to look at investing in the stock market. So there's kind of a wide variety of topics. I always try and make it um, as pertinent to you as uh, possible. So day one tasks, um, I ask you to get your materials. I've got all the information here, um, hardback, ebook, uh, and um, I think the ebook is only available at the Cengage website. And um, I wanted to let you know that you do not need a financial calculator for this course. This is one of those books that we're going to use a lot. I mean, not just to do the homework at the end of the chapter, but actually to read. And I use a lot of examples from it in my lectures. So it is a course where you're going to need to have the book. If you have somebody you're, you know, living close with that's taking the course, you don't see why you couldn't share it with somebody, but you, you do need the materials. Um, it, you're going to be submitting your um, homework either on Excel or Word. I do not take other um, formats. It, they're many times not compatible with Moodle and I've really got to struggle to convert them. And I just, I have four classes, so I don't, I can't really do that. So you need to have Microsoft Office 365. And then also we will be um, for tests, you'll be scanning some documents and submitting them. Um, so you're going to need to have access to um, the ability to scan as well. I do not like homework at all that I've got to open three or four different images, like if you're taking a JPEG just off your phone. Um, so we're going to need to find a way where I can get everything in one document and submit it. And then you're watching this video, so obviously you've seen this. And then I'm going to go through the syllabus in just a moment. Um, but while we're here, I'd like to just show you how a typical um, topic will be set up. So chapter one is understanding the financial planning process. Each unit will have an overview of what we're going to be studying in that chapter. And then I'll just give you a lineup of here's exactly what you have to do, right? Read the chapter, watch the two videos, 
Watch the video on your attitude towards money assignment. Um, you have three short five point items to complete for the first chapter. One of them's due on January 21st. The other two are due on January 26th. So you've got um, just a snapshot of everything that you're doing per unit. Your outcomes when you're done with this chapter, here's what you should be able to do. Um, I, the first couple chapters I did scan and put to PDF because sometimes it takes a while for books to come in. I don't want you to get behind. So you'll see under reading and resources, I do have the PDF scan for the first couple chapters. Um, PowerPoint slides that I use to deliver my lectures are here. Um, there's a worksheet. Oftentimes up here in the homework, I'll say, you know, do some homework and use a worksheet that I've prepared for you. So that's down here. Um, I will open the solutions manual to your homework um, after your submission date so that you can go back and check it. And then I've got three videos. So those are your readings and resources. And you can see that I've got the um, video for your attitudes towards money assignment. Um, and then this is the actual quiz itself that you will take. I mean, not take like a quiz, but it guides you through some prompts, um, just kind of determining your attitude and your relationship with money. You'll use that to complete uh, this assignment. Um, these are your two videos. Um, I a short intro on chapter one, and then your substantive lecture. So those are the two videos that I talked about up top. And then here's your assignments, those three little five point assignments. And you've got a place to submit them. One's due on the 21st, the 26th, and the 26th. And then I open the solutions manual after everything's in. So um, that's, that's what all of the chapters are gonna look like. Um, I will post here in the intro, I guess I neglected to do that, the six classes that are the six dates that we will um, be going over homework together. Um, in fact, let me just do that right now while we're chatting. So um, the Zoom room dates, um, the link is on the syllabus um, under office hours. I'll post that here as well. Um, but those dates that we will meet from 2 to 3 p.m. to go over homework and calculations are um, for chapter two on the 7th of February, or I'm sorry, 17th of February. And these are all from um, 2 to 3 p.m. And for chapter three, that will be on the 1st of March. And for chapter six, that will be on the 17th of March. Chapter seven will be the 31st. Chapter 11 will be the 21st of April. And chapter 12 will be May 12th. And I will post a hyperlink here. It's the same room that I've got my um, office hours in. And those dates are the dates that we will um, come together and do calculations and go over homework. So let's see down here is the syllabus. So um, this is offered through Missoula College, um, Department of Business and Technology, spring of 22. I just updated it. It's a three credit class. Um, each week there'll be um, uh, I can't remember that one, one hour of lab and a couple hours of lecture. You'll see I have these things called lab chats. Um, we didn't have them in chapter one, but we'll have them in the rest of the chapters, which is where I ask you to get out your calculator and your paper and a pencil, and we go through a lab together um, online rather than a traditional lecture where I just talk at you. Um, I lead you through some work together, whether it's like doing a tax return or preparing a budget or doing some calculations around interest. Um, so there's no prereqs, but it's very beneficial to um, have some rudimentary knowledge of Excel. 
um, here's my name, uh, here's my phone number, and my office is at the River Campus in 408. And Tuesdays and Thursdays from two to three, I will physically be in my room. And then I've also got, um, I'll have a Zoom room open. So if you wanna come into online um, office hours, you can do that. And this is also the link for those six days that we'll physically meet in a Zoom room. So here's the course description. The class deals with personal financial planning, investing. We're gonna look at stocks and bonds and um, consumer loans, insurance, retirement plans, pretty much anything you can imagine that has to do with personal finance. Um, when you're done with the course, these are all the things you should be able to do. So manage your taxes and cash and savings and do some financial planning, et cetera. Um, here's the book. Again, calculator. You don't need a financial calculator. Um, here's my discussion about academic honesty and a link to the student conduct code. If you need any sort of accommodation, including testing accommodation, um, here's your link if you need more information to understand how to get that. And if you've already been in contact with DSS and you need me to know about that, please just reach out to me directly. I will accommodate you, of course. Um, we know that one in five of our students are food insecure. We've got a um, pantry, we've got grizzly cupboards. It's all obviously highly confidential and accessible for our students. So please know that that's there. Um, I'm not sure why this is a smaller type, but um, ongoing academic support services. We use a system called EAB Navigator um, where both myself and your advisors are asked four times a semester to um, input any problem areas that we see students having, like they've missed homework or they've gotten poor test scores or you know, in a physical class they're not attending, something like that. So um, this all comes through your University of Montana email. So just be aware that that will be available for you. Um, this is the segment of the syllabus that talks about netiquette and what the expectations are, how you conduct yourself in an online course. Um, I'm sure most of you have been in an online course before, but I really ask that you read through this. Uh, syllabus represents our contract with each other, and um, it's very important that you understand what's expected of you um, and how to get tech support, which, uh, spoiler alert, is not me. Um, it's UM Online Help. You don't want to wait till the last minute if you're having computer problems. Um, so please make sure that you understand this is where that support is. Um, the class is made up of three exams of 100 points each. Um, your final is 50 points. We have three guest speakers that um, have been generous with their time community members that have um, spoken and you will view their um, presentations and then assess them. And then this is your homework. So you can see there's a wide variety of points to be had in the course. Um, it's a straight uh, 90, 80, 70, 60 grading scale. And here um, is the homework. It is due on Wednesdays and Fridays at 11 p.m. And um, I have that very clearly outlined as you saw in each of the different topical areas. Um, on exam weeks, you may only have homework due once, but please make accommodations so that you know Wednesdays and Fridays by 11 p.m. Mountain Standard Time is when your exams or when your homework is due. And then um, you have to take the exams on the reg regularly scheduled days. They will always be open from 8 a.m. till 11 p.m. And um, I can see when you log in and out of the test. So that's how I see um, how long it's taken you. And I will give you time mandates on those. So um, I hope that this has been helpful. And I really look forward to seeing you um, we're meeting you in the online discussion forums, and then it looks like the first time that I will see you actually in a Zoom room is on February 17th from 2 to 3. So um, I guess my cat and I are saying goodbye, and um, we'll see you soon. Bye.